I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. The, uh, there is a war going on in uh, South Vietnam. I think that last week there were over 500 uh, killings, assassinations, uh, bombings. Uh, the casualties are high. There was no need for me to spend several hours in the spaceship Vostok before the takeoff. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Snowmobile racing evolved uh, in the 60s, primarily cross country. So we used to have, uh, in the 60s, there would be, every little town would have a, a winter carnival and there would be a snowmobile race. So um, it would be from one town to another town and it might be 20 miles long or it might be 50 miles. And usually they would line them all up on a Saturday morning in downtown, wherever. Didn't matter where you were in the snow belt and there'd be 10, 20, 30, guys lining up and women lining up with their variety of snowmobiles and racing from one town to the other, right? And uh, see who got to that town first. And then from there it evolved into oval racing. So they go out to the fairgrounds where they would have their traditional fall fairs and usually there'd be some kind of a little grandstand there where there would be some kind of event in the fall and they'd get the front end loaders and plow a track and the track back in those days would be high bank. So they weren't flat like today's tracks. Think of a speed skating track. They were all banked. So think of Daytona uh, where the track was all banked because the snowmobiles back then, they didn't have the traction products that we have today. So when you went to turn, generally they wanted to go straight. So you would run into a big kind of bank, snow bank, and that would help you turn to go straight, to go down the back straightaway. So you can imagine you're all lining up on the start line with 12, 15 horsepower snowmobiles, right? Screaming down the straightaway at 30 miles an hour and then you're coming into a corner and it's like, oh man, this thing isn't gonna turn. So you'd hit the snow bank, bang off it, or bang off the guy beside you to try and straighten yourself out and then down the back straightaway and you do 10 or 15 laps like that. So it really was a demolition derby, the very first races and there'd be guys flipping their machines and nobody'd really get hurt because they weren't going that fast. But like anything, as snowmobile manufacturers started to see, you know, oh, you know, who's ever winning on, the, on Sunday, they would come to a dealership like Vincent's here and they'd want to buy a Skidoo because they won all the races on the weekend, right? So what's, what wins on Sunday would sell on Monday. 